Hello, I am K.S. Rao once again. I know I don't need any introduction. My introduction is simply what you see behind me, a Sudoku puzzle. Now today I have a, one more wonderful puzzle. This is also a difficult puzzle, but I have chosen it because I want to show a very special trick in this puzzle. Okay, so that trick will come towards the end of the uh, video. Therefore, please watch this video till the end. Okay. And one thing more I would like to repeat. See, this Sudoku is a game for enjoying. It is not for uh, getting headaches or getting worried about. Okay. And now, uh, let me tell you, there are no degrees in Sudoku, there are no doctorates in Sudoku. These are not lessons. I am only trying to show how to solve these Sudoku puzzles and how to enjoy while solving. Okay, so do not, please do not imagine too many things. Just and uh, once again, uh, other thing I would like to repeat is, please do not get worried if you can't solve a particular puzzle. There are billions of these puzzles and no individual can solve all the puzzles even if it takes a hundred lives only for solving Sudoku puzzles of any category for that matter, even easy puzzles. Therefore, uh, please concentrate on how to solve this puzzle. You will enjoy, I am very sure. Let's go to the puzzle now. So, here is our puzzle. Now, uh, a number of our Sudoku friends have complained that my hand is covering the puzzle because the hand is quite big and uh, this, this is a small picture. Okay. Therefore, they in fact asked me to use a pointer or something like that, but uh, using a pointer and using a pen differently, different tools as well became a bit difficult. So I have improvised and I made this uh, extended pen. Let us try. I hope I will show this uh, uh, red pointer, side, red side of this pen and write with this black side. Okay. Now let us see this puzzle. Let's go with a shortcut. Let us uh, leave our regular process for the time being for this puzzle. Let's see. In the middle vertical strip, we can see a number 2 here in curve number 5, another 2 in curve number 6. Therefore, in this box, the only place for a number 2 is this because of these 2 here in row C. So, we write our first lucky number 2 there. Okay. Immediately look at this top horizontal strip. We have a 3 here. We have a 3 here. Therefore, once again in this box, we can write a number 3 here. Okay, yeah. And then, let us now leave all these things and come to this box. Box number 9. We see uh, number 8 is found in row H. Another in jo, uh, row J. I'm sorry, <laughs> row J. Therefore, once again, in this box, the only place for number 8 is here. Okay. And then, uh, come to this box next. You see, uh, box number 6. You see, we have this number 9 in row E and another 9 in number 9. So, looking at this box, the only logical place for Another 9 is here. Let's try that. And then this box. You see, number 9 we can see in row E. We have written, written, we just written number 9 in row F. And we have a 9 here above in column number 4. Therefore, in this box, the logical place for another 9 is here. That's 9. Okay. And then, now, look at row D. We are writing this number 9 here. We have got only 1, 2, 3 vacancies there. Those 3 are for what numbers? It is clearly 3, 4 and 7. 3, 4 and 7. So, these 3 places for R for 3, 4 and 7. 
Here you can see, look at B1, you see a 3 above and a 7 here. Therefore, the uh, uh, automatic place for number 4 is here. This is again our 2 by 3 trick. 2 by 3 trick. Okay. Out of these 3 cells, or in this cell particularly, out of 3 possible numbers, 2 cannot enter there. Therefore, the third number gets into position there. Therefore, D1 is for number 4. And now let us fill up these two places also. There are 3 and 7. We don't have a cross check above or below. So write 3 and 7 here. 3 and 7. Oh, that's a 3. Looks like a 2. Here again. 3 and 7. Okay. And now. Look at the row G, just got also five numbers there. We have uh, only four vacancies that is for three, five, seven, and nine. Three, five, seven, nine. Three and nine there, therefore, five and seven letter right here. Five here. So, 3, 7 and 9 here, 3, 7, 9, here we have got 5, so we get this 3, 5, 9, let's write that 3, 5, 9, when we come here you see the duty is out of 3, 5, 7, 9, we have 5 here and 9 there, therefore we get a 3 and 7 here. Okay, that is the matching pair for 3 by 7 there and D4 it has formed on its own without our making any efforts. Okay, now what about these two uh, empty uh, the cells in this column number 4? It's clear, they are clearly for 4 and 6. Let us write 4 and 6 there. 4 and 6, 4 and 6. Okay, and now come to this box interesting thing you see look at this box and this six here this six cannot get repeated anywhere here in e9 or f9 but it can be in e7 or e8 therefore if a six can be here or here how can it get repeated in the e4 therefore as soon as we repeat this four and six there let us delete that 6 from here and make it a 4 and above what is a 6 please watch this point see these are simple observations only they are not tricks just observation only okay and now what this 4 does now come to this box again it clearly there is only one place for 4 in this box it is at f9 f9 let's write that 4 there and then Look at this box. Operating this 4 in this box, the, the next 4 should be either at H7 or H8. Therefore, it cannot get repeated anywhere here in this in the rest of this row H. Therefore, looking at this box number 7, you cannot repeat a 4 here because of that 4, you cannot repeat a 4 here because of this imaginary 4 here. Therefore, in this box, the only place for a number 4 is J3. Can anything else be done now with this 4? Don't have any cross checks above in row A or B or C or 4. So let's leave it for the time being there. Okay. And now, this row F is also having 5 numbers. Only 4 are required. Let's have a look what are the numbers required. We require 1, 3, 6 and 8 okay let us write them okay we have 3 there so we get 1 6 and 8 we have 8 here therefore and 6 there so it's only 1 and 3 okay we have 1 there 
So it is uh, 3, 6 and 8. We have a 3 there, therefore, and 1 here, that is 6 and 8 here. Okay. And then, let it be there now, the time being. Here we need not to fill up now, I suppose, this one. No place it will be there. Because 3, 6, 7, and 8. So let it be there now. Uh, come, come to this row J. Can anything be done now? Let us have a look. We require 2, 6, 7, and 9, 2 and 7. Because 6 and 7, we have 6 and 9 being there. Here, 2, 6, 7, 9 means 6 and 7 here. Here, 2 and 7. That means 6 and 9 here. Okay, what about this place? Again, here. 2, 6, 7, 9. We have got only 9 there. So it is 2, 6, and 7. Okay. Now, we will tell you. We come to an interesting stage now. Have a look. In right vertical strip, we have this 1 here and 8 here. We have this 1 here and 8 there. That means these two numbers become a pair when we look in, into this box. They become a pair and take A9 and V9. Have a look closely. 1 and 8 here, 1 and 8 here. Naturally, since this 9 is here, it is 1 and 8 here. And 1 and 8 here. Okay. And then, come here. This 1 and 4 we got. We got a 1 here and 4 there. 1 here and 4 here. Therefore, these two numbers, just like a 1 and 8, they have become a pair and take these two positions, A6 and C6. So let us put that pair also there. 1 and 4, 1 and 4. Okay. And now, what about these two places in box 2? Is it naturally for 5 and 8? Yeah, 5 and 8, let us write them down. 5 and 8, 5 and 8. Okay, now look at this box. We have this 9 here and 9 here. We should have written this number 9 long ago, but somehow we slipped there. Therefore, now let us have a look at this box once again. We have this 4 here. Therefore, we get a 4. And this is clearly for 2 and 7. So, pair of 2 and 7. This makes a big difference above. Have a look at D9. This pair 2 and 7. Disbands this pair of 3 and 7 there and you delete 7, you get a 3 here and straight away you look left, this, this pair gets disturbed, you get a 7 there and below here, this is again, it becomes number 3, okay, and that 3 gets deleted here at G2 and G3, let's delete them there and we get a trio of 5, 7 and 9 here in G1, G2, G3. Okay. So, that 5, 7, 9 being there, this 7 can be deleted here. What about the single place in number 9? That is clearly for number 5. Yeah. You got 1 there, 2 here, everything else is there except 5. And what about these two places? 6 and 7 are required. We don't have a cross check above or below 6 and 7 at this time. Let's make a pair of them and right there 6 and 7. Let us look left. See in row E, we have got just three vacancies now. There is at E2, E3, and E6. The three numbers required for these three vacancies are. 2, 3 and 8. We have 3 above and 2 below uh, in respect of this E6. Therefore, neither 2 nor 3 can take this position E6. Therefore, number 8 gets in there. Let's say that 8 there. Immediately, it F6. We can correct this pair 
right number six there and left immediately this is number three after that let us look down in column number six here we can correct this pair of six and seven and it is seven there and look right this pair at j9 gets disbanded you can get a two there this is seven and then what else happens look extreme left after writing this two there at g1 you get a six and at g5 we get a nine here okay can anything be done about these two places h5 and h6 yeah naturally we require number one uh, no one two three four five and six we have a six above there so let's say our six here and five here okay and then what about uh, these three places in row h it's clear for one two and three let's write them down there we got a three above so let's write one and two here nothing above there in these two columns therefore one two and three one two three here one two three here ah. okay and then look at row e these two vacancies are clearly for what this is for two and three let's write that as a pair two and three two and three two and three and immediately we get number one at f2 that is uh, because of this three and this three also here therefore we can write number one there and the last vacancy in row f is for number eight yeah it's number eight there and then what else is there not much okay now let us uh, turn towards the right vertical strip and column number 7 and column number 8 especially column number 7 has got three vacancies now that is for 4, 6 and 7 we have 7 here therefore it is 4 and 6 here and four, all three numbers there at A7 4, 6 and 7 and look at column number 8 this got also three vacancies for 5, 6 and 7 so again no cross check in row A so all three numbers get written there 5, 6 and 7 and here we have this 7 again so it is 5 and 6 here ok and now let us come this side to the left side uh, we have uh, in row column number one we have one two three four five numbers are there now we have four vacancies that is for one two five and seven let us fill them up we have uh, a 2 there, we have a 2 this here, we have a 7 there, so this is clearly 1 and 5. And here at C1, out of 1, 2, 5 and 7, we have only 2 there, so we get 1, 5 and 7. Okay, now let us uh, some correction required. Eh? Okay, after writing this one, we can correct this, this row here at row H. Let us um, strike that number one there. We have made a pair of two and three in column number two. Therefore, including this pair, we got five numbers there. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, no, we have, we have, uh, yeah, we have five numbers. Therefore, the other four numbers required for column number 2 are 4, 6, 7 and 9. 
yeah four six seven and nine we have six and nine there so this is four and seven here so only seven there so four six and nine here and here only nine is there so we can write four six and seven so at this stage of the puzzle i have taken a decision to change this sheet of paper and uh, resume with the printed one and this is exactly as per the advice of a, a girl by name uh, mangai she has advised that these uh, numbers should be written more with more clarity and all that so on and so forth thank you mangai thank you very much for your advice so let us change the sheet now here it is the new sheet now don't get surprised all these blank spaces are either the given numbers or the discovered numbers and in any case we don't need them now we need not look at the given numbers or the uh, discovered numbers so what we are concerned is only about the numbers to be found out okay now let us resume now uh, we straight away at this stage have a look down below in the box 4 and box 7 we have our rc trick here we have 2 and 3 in e2 2 and 3 in e3 2 and 3 in h2 and 1 2 3 in h3 therefore this is a rc trick if we assume 2 as a and 3 as b a b a b a b a b c so we confirm c here and please remember that these four cells should occupy the four corners of a rectangle they can be here they can be here anywhere okay in the puzzle within the puzzle okay and then therefore you know the rest of it therefore let me straight away start with uh, cutting this one two three and writing number one there and then afterwards we will assume with this box one so we have decided to fill up these three cells individually therefore looking at the old sheet we have just discovered one here therefore for c3 we need not write one there one not necessary two not necessary three not necessary four not necessary five is to be written and six seven not necessary and eight so it is five and eight to be written here five and eight to be written here therefore next here let us see same way one we need not repeat two we need not repeat three need not repeat four need not repeat five will come there 6, 7 there, 5, 8 and 9 here, yeah, 5, 8 and 9, 5, 8 and 9, and here at A3, again, one, not necessary, two not necessary, sorry, two is necessary, 2 is not necessary because 2 is not there in this column or this row therefore 2 is required 3 not necessary 4 not necessary 2 5 8 2 5 8 come here ok therefore now let us proceed with the rest of the puzzle now ok now let us close that old sheet and proceed here from now on let's see now we come to the most important part of this 
puzzle that is a trick I wanted to show to you that is the XY ring trick is now apparent here have a good look at B1 B9 and C3 here we have 1 and 5 here 1 and 8 there and 5 and 8 here these three cells together they form that XY ring note that number 1 occurs only in these two places at this end and that end and 5 occurs only here and 8 here and here ok so the important point to note is that this number 1 is occurring only here and here nowhere in between right that's important now the theory of it let us see by charm suppose we write number 1 here then this becomes 8 that becomes 1 if this becomes 8 this 8 at b3 is not necessary it can be deleted ok that is one condition second point is if by chance we write 5 here this becomes 8 at c3 therefore in this situation also we need not have number 8 at b3 therefore let me strike that number 8 here ok then after striking that 8 look at row b this is the only place you have number 8 there therefore we can confirm 8 here and immediately above it is number 1 and then come here to a6 it is 4 and it is number 1 here at the c6 after writing this 4 we can delete this 4 at a2 and delete this 4 at a7 that means we get a pair of 6 and 7 at a2 and a7 therefore these two numbers 6 and 7 can get deleted from a8 therefore we get number 5 there and straight away just looking down we get a 6 further down it's a 7 and this is 6 and look up this pair of 4 and 6 gets um, disturbed we can get a 4 there and above there it is 7 ok and come left to a2 it is a 6 and then operating this 5 this pair of 5 and 8 at a5 also gets uh, disbanded we get an 8 there and this pair also becomes number 5 here and now we come to c3 we can get disband this pair also and we can write 8 there and naturally this 8 gets disturbed and deleted of writing this 8 ok and now what else happens here see we have this 4 and 6 in row b therefore at b2 what remains is only a 9 ok and then after writing this 1 and 5 here in row c c1 becomes number 7 and c2 is naturally number 4 and and see the fun now after writing this 5 here at a3 it is a 2 and then after writing this 9 at b2 this b3 gets corrected and we get a 5 there and this is our 1 at b1 so our uh, x ways wing has worked ok so we have filled all those things now let us remain, fill the remaining blanks also here these are the blanks here so writing the 2 above there let us write a 3 and a 2 here and once we have b at b number 5 at b3 we can correct this pair at g3 and put a 9 there and next left is a 7 and here is 5 and then this 2 enables us to disband this pair of 2 and 3 also at his 2 and therefore 
is 3 here and now last pair to be disturbed is at h1 that is number 2 ok we have done this job our x-ray wing has worked now don't get surprised because of all these blanks now I will fill these numbers in the with along with the original numbers and show one sheet to you after this video is uh, this part is concluded ok now before we conclude I request you to please read these lines uh, of course the, due to some printer fault the print has become very small but in the earlier sheet also you can read that but it's big and one thing more kindly continue, uh, subscribe to this channel my channel so uh, so that the next video I upload release will the information will come to you directly okay so um, that's about the puzzle you can see the next sheet afterwards God bless you all this is the same sheet on which we have uh, uh, made use of our RC trick and also this XY wing after concluding that part of it I have uh, uh, filled these red numbers that is the original given numbers and all these black numbers are what we have discovered okay so uh, I am very glad that I am able to show so very two important two very important tricks here that is one is this RC trick and the XY wing also regarding RC trick I would like to mention something more See, I was holding a little extension of this trick for uh, the reason that uh, I wanted to show in a practical puzzle but that puzzle sort of puzzle is not coming in front of me therefore I am holding it but however I will tell now okay now you see here we had a b a b a b a b c sometimes we may get a b a b a b a b c d also so basically you can delete a and b from this this cell where a b c we are thinking now we can delete a b from there and continue with the rest of the puzzle it will nothing will go wrong it will help solve the puzzle okay and uh, one thing i am glad to inform you that some youngsters are taking my uh, tricks and showing in their videos it is something very wonderful i like it uh, because Shuroko is for everybody and uh, there is no copyright here so I am glad about it and before concluding I request you to subscribe to this my video channel this channel KS Rao Sudoku channel and please transmit your views your, your comments and please mark your like and dislikes also these things will uh, help me to improve and this this sort of printing you know it is a pity that uh, due to some printer's mistake these numbers have become very small what we got printed next time we shall take care that they are sufficiently large enough these these printed small numbers and i shall take care next time okay so please bear with me for this time that's it god bless you all